how has COVID impacted that on like, what have you seen firsthand as like, have, have all events been shut down? Obviously we know UFC, there's no, there's still no fans in the, in the stands. Um, have there been any regional or local fights that are like officially sanctioned since the shutdown? Uh, there have, um, most of the regional cards up our way anyway, that have been put on are CFFC, which is Cage Fury Fighting Championships, and they have a UFC Fight Pass deal. So okay. they've been able to still put on regional shows, showcase regional talent, and just, you know, not really have fans. Now, I think they have like 200 max or 250 max, you know, and they all have to sit at a table, you know, different people at different tables, things like that. But uh, it seems as you go south, um, there's kind of less and less restriction on who you can have in the venue and where they can sit and how many fighters can be on the card. So um, I know uh, one of our athletes, Tyler Jones, just did a combat jujitsu fight uh, down in Florida. And I'm pretty sure, you know, there were fans and they did back to back shows on the same day where they packed the place, kicked everyone out, packed the place again, all within like 12 hours. Uh, so it really is when you say regional, it really is region to region on if they're having fights. Now here in Pennsylvania, um, the thing that I've noticed the most is like we have really good amateur fighter Christian Carr who just hasn't been able to really fight because all of these regional shows are pretty much just putting on pros, right? There are not a whole lot of amateurs fighting. So there's at some point there's going to be a gap where all of the amateurs had to stop fighting and all of the pros kept getting better and there's just going to be this large gray area where there was no experience for however many months this is going to last Um, and it's going to be very interesting to see who advances who just never fights again um, and kind of what all conspires and we we just don't know at this point yeah it's got to be a tough thing Um, obviously this COVID has impacted a lot of different areas of life for everyone but for somebody who trains and you rely on these events um, as your income or at least supplemental income, if you're not, you know, that high level yet. And really just the passion too. I mean, these guys who are, who are coming up in this sport, this is like their lively livelihood. Like they, they do this because they love it. That's what they've grown up doing. Um, so, I mean, number one, I guess a lot of gyms at first probably even shut down. Um, yeah. But so, I mean, Hopefully, at least they can train and, and continue to, to hone their craft. Um, but, you know, to not be able to put on performances is probably pretty frustrating and obviously puts a little bit of a, a damper on their advancement in, in the sport and and things like that. But um, I'm curious, like, is anybody that you guys have, have sponsored, like, do you have, I mean, if you can tell us, you know, is, is there any anybody moving up into some of the more national level um, promotions, maybe Bellator or, or things of the sort, anybody that is kind of on that brink of breaking through? Uh, we have some fighters who, uh, Ethan Goss, for instance, has fought for Bellator, uh, but his next fight is actually this Saturday for a more regional promotion, uh, 247 Fighting Championships, um, but against another stud. Um, he's fighting another guy named Ethan. I can't think of his last name, but, um, you know, it's things like that where we might have somebody who fought a Bellator fight here and there, or we have a, a lot of fighters who fight for that CFFC that I mentioned earlier, uh, who, um, you know, you win, a, you win a belt there and you're getting the call to, you know, Bellator, UFC, um, you know, 1FC, one of those promotions. So, you know, the, the fighters that we do have, you know, I'm pretty thorough with um, – kind of going through and, and seeing what their potential looks like. And, and I'm pretty confident that within the next three or four years, we'll have a decent amount of fighters on UFC and Bellator rosters. Awesome. That's awesome, man. It'd be really cool to see your, uh, see your logo out there on TV. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> so even so, beyond the fighters, you have some really good designs for your original designs. 